In this tutorial, you will learn how to create 3D game objects and interactions in Unity. We'll create a background panel, a collider, and an interactive camera. To add interactions to game objects, we can use resources from the Unity Community Wiki. For example, we can use scripts written and shared by other developers. You can use scripts from the Unity Wiki as they are, or modify them for your game. Here is an original camera script which we downloaded from the Unity website. And here is the camera script after we modified it. If you compare the two, there are very few differences. The camera script was written in C Sharp, one of the languages in Unity. Let's add our version of the script to the game. Select the script in the project panel, hold down the mouse, drag the script to the hierarchy panel, and drop it on top of the main camera. Next, select the main camera in the hierarchy panel. The inspector panel changes to display the components of the main camera, including the variables in the newly attached script. One of the variables is called target. Let's make the Earth game object a target for the main camera. Click on the icon to the right of the target variable. In the Select Transform pop-up window, select the Earth game object. This assigns Earth to the variable called target in the script. Let's preview the game. First, Set the screen resolution in the game panel. Open the drop-down menu in the top right corner and select the plus option. In the pop-up window, enter 1200 for width and 800 for height, and choose fixed resolution. We design GUI images and define their position specifically for this custom screen size. Click on Maximize on Play if you wish to preview the game in full screen mode. Press Play to activate the game panel. Here is our current game. Click on the camera toggle to display the camera information. Let's try it. Scroll the middle mouse button to zoom in and out. Use the Alt key and the left mouse button to move the camera around the Earth model. These game interactions were defined in the Max Camera script. Press Stop to end the game preview. Let's look at the code again. Let's review the camera code in the text editor. The keystroke and mouse controls for the different camera motions are defined in a function called late update. Unity executes late update after all other functions in runtime. Thus, the key and mouse controls are applied to the camera after any other changes. This code uses built-in Unity functions and classes for user input with the mouse and the keyboard. You can find the syntax for these and other built-in functions and variables in the Unity documentation, to which we refer when we write and edit scripts. Unity provides many options for creating game objects and interactions. Let's create the textured background of the game. From the top menu bar, go to Game Object, Create Other, and select Plane. Use the Transform tools to position, rotate, and scale it. Next, select the plane in the Hierarchy panel, hold down the mouse, and drag the plane onto the main camera. The plane is now a child game object attached to the main camera.
position and scale the plane so it appears behind Earth and fills the screen as viewed through the camera. Let's add a background image. In the Project panel, go to Assets Textures and select the background image we created in Photoshop. Holding down the mouse, drag the image to the plane in the Scene panel. The image now appears in the game's background. Click Play to activate the game preview. In the game panel, use the mouse to zoom in and out. The background stays exactly the same. In the Scene panel, we can see why. The camera is moving closer to and away from Earth, which creates the zoom in and zoom out effect. The background plane is attached to the camera and moves with it, so it always looks the same through the camera. In the Geography game, when you click on the name Boston, a pop-up window opens with information about the city. We'll create this interaction using a collider and a script. Colliders are Unity game objects which the user can select and manipulate during the game. Go to Game Object, Create Other, and select Quad. All primitive shapes in Unity, such as sphere, cylinder, or quad, by default include a collider. Move, rotate, and scale it using the tools in the Scene and Inspector panels so that it matches Boston's geographic location. In the Hierarchy panel, select and drag the Boston Collider and attach it to the Earth game object. Add a texture image that shows the name Boston. Here is an image saved from Illustrator with the text Boston on transparent background. The name Boston appears over the Earth model. We can add another game object, a sphere, using the same tools. This small sphere now indicates where Boston is located geographically. The name of the city hovers over the geographic location. To make the Boston Collider interactive, we need to add a script. In the Scripts folder, we add a new script called Boston Pop-Up, which defines the interactions for the Boston Collider. Let's open the script in the Unity text editor and review the code. The code includes the Unity function on mouse down, which defines what happens when the user clicks on the Collider object. In this case, a Boolean variable switches between true and false on every click. The onGUI function creates a window in the GUI if the Boston Boolean variable is true. Note that there can be more than one onGUI functions in a game, as long as they are defined in different scripts. All onGUI functions create elements of the graphical user interface. Here, onGUI creates the Boston Information Panel as a pop-up window. The next function, Boston Window, makes it possible to drag the pop-up window on screen with the mouse. The Late Update function includes code that makes the Boston Collider always face the camera. Let's close the text editor and look at the scene. Select the Boston Collider in the Hierarchy panel. In the Inspector, set the style for the Boston pop-up panel. Here is the style variable in the Boston pop-up script. And here is the Boston label image we created previously in Photoshop. Let's see how the game looks now. Remember to save the scene and project so you don't lose your work.
Press play to activate the game panel. The geography game is now complete and we are ready to build it and use it outside of Unity.